Defence Acquisition Council, DAC, on Thursday approved the proposal for procurement of 2.23 lakh rupees crore defence equipment from domestic companies. The Defence Ministry was scheduled to take up two of India's biggest ever fighter aircraft projects worth 1.3 lakh rupees crore for discussion in a crucial meeting this week including buying 97 new LCA Mark one a fighter aircraft and indigenously upgrading 84 su MKI combat planes. The Su-30 fighter jets are the mainstay of the Indian Air Force with 260 of them already in service. The jets have been inducted in different batches and have now formed around 50% of the fighter fleet. The Su-30 MKI fleet upgrade plan is also seen by the Indian Air Force as an opportunity for exports as many countries in Southeast Asia and Africa operate the plane and can use these solutions to provide advanced capabilities to their fleets. After this announcement, the Indian Air Force will upgrade the Sukhoi fighters and significantly enhance their air superiority capabilities. The 84 Sukhoi 30 MKI aircraft will be getting the domestically manufactured Virupaksha gallium nitride-based active electronically scanned array or SR radar which will replace the Russian radars of the 1980 era. The decision to opt for the indigenous Virupaksha Reda signifies India's commitment to self-reliance even in the development of cutting-edge technologies. Virupaksha Reda's use gallium nitride-based components, which is superior to their gallium arsenide-based counterparts. The Reda's ability to provide deep surveillance into enemy airspace makes it a formidable asset. Gallium nitride-based technology provides Reda's greater range, improved performance, and higher efficiency basically it will transform the Sukhoi 30 MKIS into many a works within its operational sector. In present scenario where India's adversary China has already inducted their stealth J-2 Shunya A and J-31 fighters the need of a better radar system for IFS fighters become prominent. Here lies the significance of Virupaksha radar as it is expected to perform exceptionally well against stealth platforms within a certain range.